Hi, this is Dr. Frederick. I want to talk to you a little bit about some of your work on the uh, on the uh, three research questions. Let's just start with something like this: obesity. Uh, I want to find the relationship between obesity and exercise. Well, I, I can't. Um, neither one of these are variables. Uh, and so we want to find relationships between variables. Well, well, why isn't obesity a variable? Well, it's a condition. And it's a, you know, you're either obese or you're not. So we could consider presence of, of obesity yes, yes, no, as a variable. Are you classified as obese? But, you know, what you just really need to think about is uh, what are some variables that are associated with obesity? A variable is something that can vary and can be measured. So let's just think very quickly. Weight. Weight can vary. Weight can be measured. It's easy to measure weight. Well, you could also do BMI, body mass index, you could do something like change in weight, uh, body fat, percentage. All of these things are variables that are going to result in a number. We're going to say this is our x variable. We'll probably, well, we'll call it our y variable. Y variable. So we're going to get two pieces of information for each person that we evaluate and one of them here is going to be uh, body fat percentage okay so I want to look at how something is related to body fat percentage and I am interested in exercise what are some variables associated with exercise well we could do hours of exercise but we, we need something more than just hours of exercise in a certain period of time like per week Okay, so we're going to find out how much a person exercises we're going to get these two values for each person okay and so both can be measured hours of exercise can be a number body fat percentage is going to be a number you know we could do we could do other things you know we could just do you know, calories burned. Probably would not do hours of exercise per week. We'd probably do minutes, you know. Or we could do number of exercise periods a week. In a real research situation, you probably not can do anything this this simplistic, okay? We're probably going to do something like this, number of exercise periods and change in body fat percentage over eight weeks. You know, we're going to have something very specific. We're going to take a group of people, we're going to measure them for eight weeks. And this is what we're going to tell our research associates. Okay, look, uh, you're going to, how are you going to determine number of exercise periods, okay, as you know, as reported by participants or as, you know, reported by trainer. Okay, and then we're going to have change in body fat percentage from initiation to termination. Okay, measure body fat percentage on each occasion. Okay. So, you got to think about what are your variables. Let's just do another one here. You know, I'm interested in uh, malingering. We, we can look at the nominative definition of malingering uh, is, you know, pretending to have problems that you don't really have in order to get something. 
you know, what are what are some variables associated with malingering? Okay, so we, we probably have some test scores from malingering tests. What might be another variable that I'm interested in? Well, I'm, I'd be interested in doctors. Judgments about malingering before testing occurs. Well, is that a variable? Well, might be if we change it to, to something like ratings. Okay, and say on a scale of zero to one hundred. Okay. So we can make a scale and say, okay, from 0 to 100, what's the probability the person is going to malinger? Okay, so then we have X, Y. X is the doctor's rating, you know, 34, and then we're going to have some score on a test out of 50, uh, 45, and then the probability of malingering is 3%, and then the score is 50 probability is 90%, the score is 32. We're going to put all those in a scatter plot and measure the uh, relationship between them. You have to have numbers to measure relationship. Uh, we can talk more at another time about categories, but I encourage you all to have an XY variable pair in your research question. So let's, let's ask a question here. How does, or you know, let's say, what is the relationship between doctors' ratings of probability of malingering before testing occurs and the score on the test? That's the sort of question we're looking for. Now, for my research associates, I need to operationalize each of my variables. So my first variable is doctor's ratings of probability of malingering as is given on 0 to 100 scale. Okay, And then, I don't need to operationalize the other one because it's just the score on the test. So you have to think, you. this is your question. Can anybody take my question, go get me some data, these are data, okay, XY pairs, so that I can evaluate them. 